to find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. It kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. Ah, <sighs> not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More than ale. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough meat and bitter leaf. Just need to grab a metal panel for a scrounger pile. The scrap piles for a metal panel. The pouch is full, but my pack has room. No metal panel. Better check another scrap pile.
think I have everything I need from Ildif. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. That was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. Olven's got another mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off our pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable... I'd rather suffer Olvind's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew, if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. Eyes up here, brothers! I should check in with him. You good? I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Arna sent me. I'm not not now. Uh, uh. Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still They're still down there. I can't can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. 
I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't. I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh, two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Gotta find those two miners. Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. Should still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find out this work for that drainage shaft. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, I'll be the damage. Oh, 
them. Now to find a way out of this room. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. I need to find a way up to those explosives. Leads. the explosives up on the track. Just have to get across somehow. Trick. Oh, guess that got its attention. Let's go check on those miners. I can grab this from my stash later. So dead. We don't know that. <laughs> you did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Who you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. 
I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. There we go. a device the metal reflects the sun send a signal looks like some kind of lens guess I'll keep it for later Made it. And there's another one of those devices. The lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. There you are. I I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Ah. But you're just not. I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine enhanced? Explosive, done in one, machine wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some cautious scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. 
I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, if you keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. I should have enough charger horns for Dallin and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that fang horn you were talking about. There's the fang horn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. For boom Beer after all, eh? 
Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I've never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Well, from up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrew. I could have a word with him first. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with a harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Take it up, beat it! Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on
Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far, thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, he must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation... This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Must be Savahar. True son before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> no. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of a ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the peak. I just need to see the twilight. My people will find their home. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. I gotta get over to that stormbird. Grab its heart.
flag is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? for a dire. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Talland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Another lens. I'll tuck this away for now. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or Fleabags. I'm taking it. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which, in this case, is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, Buzz. Blasted love, shut up! <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savahar must make these decisions. 
No, um, I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here. Please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. An image from the old world. Looks like some kind of building in front of sheer cliffs. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest. Or on me, I can send it to my stash. Completing the image unlocked a data file. It looks like these vista points were made by <gasps> Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Captain said to keep an eye on chain scrapes. So we've been cleaning up any bristleback carcasses we find. Didn't want them attracting any of their scavenger friends. Would have been an easy task, too, if someone hadn't slipped trying to move the damn things. Scroungers showed up while I was trying to free this scrap brain. Forgot to bend the knees, that's all. Here, my thanks for helping us out. These should be handy in a pinch. Thanks. Make sure you don't go, uh, tripping under any more bristlebacks. Stay safe, Aloy. It's a ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. How do I get in there to get it? Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin?
some data survived. There's a code for the locked door in this data. But I still need to find a chemo. Okay, gotta find a key for the door. There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? Can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. Sweet. <laughs> the key module. See if this key fits. There. Um, looks like this needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. I'm in. <laughs> what is this thing? I'll hold on to it for now. Figure out what to do with it later. more before I head out. See what else I can find.
made it. Feels another one of those devices. This lens looks like it could be valuable. Better hold on. I can almost see the entire valley up here. No wonder the Karja built this watchtower. Hey, what happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens, no. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens, which in some very specific circles is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. I already found some, actually. Well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist, too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens at this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. There's nothing for my pole caster to look into. up this place. the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. Is that what I think it is? 
Now you've got all your lenses. My pops would be sad they're tearing down those towers. But he'd be happy these lenses were spared. Many thanks to you, Aloy. Oh, here. What I owe you. Now this has truly been a profitable endeavor for the both of us. So what are you gonna do next? I'm taking these back to the claim. Ankles all better, and I miss the stench of soot in the air. Let's hope you don't find any more opportunities on your way there. <laughs> no promises. Good luck, Aloy.